Aries and welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into your seven day twin flame reading. Love outlook for you and a partner, someone that you have a connection with in your life. We're going to take a look at your cards and their cards and see what's going on between the two of you over the next seven days. All right, guys? So, um, we'll pull cards for both you and your partner. So let's get right into it, Aries. Show me what's going on for you. This could be for anybody who has a sun, moon, Venus, Mars, rising, in Aries. So just if you have Aries uh, energy in your birth chart, this reading may resonate for you. All right, guys? So seven days for Aries. Show me what's going on. All right, guys. Aries, this week you're coming out five of wands. You see your person as a seven of swords. You desire the hanged man and what needs to happen, the magician. Wow. Tough. Your person is coming in as a four of cups. They see you as a five of pentacles. They desire a nine of wands and what needs to happen is a nine of cups. At the bottom of the deck, you have page of cups. So it's a rough week, okay, Aries, for you and this person in your life, right? It's a rough week. You have some challenging cards here. Couple of fives and some nines, which really speak to power struggle and solitude, being on your own. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Aries, I'll come back to this page of cups at the bottom. Um, but let's get right into it. Aries, you come into the week with a five of wands and your person is coming in with the energy of four of cups. So you are, how shall I put it? You're, you're, you're either competing for their attention, you're bickering, you're arguing, uh, but you may not be doing it with this person. Five of Wands is a power struggle. Fives really represent power struggle in tarot. Five of Wands is more to do with, I want to say, competition. Trying to be the best man or best woman, uh, trying to beat out the competition, jockeying for position, ego play, who's the best, who's stronger, you know, and of course, there is bickering that comes along with that, but the energy of five of wands is essentially really trying to get on top. You can see the five used there really battling to see who is the best, right? So it could be that um, you may indeed be competing with some people this week. You may be finding yourself in the middle of some kind of power struggle this week, Aries. Your person is coming in with a four of cups, and they don't want to know. They're being very standoffish. Uh, they're being to themselves. They're not accepting any kind of offer of love. Page of Cups. If Page of Cups is trying to come in, they're being absolutely rebuffed. Um, yeah, your person is Four of Cups. They're not, they're not ready to accept what's being handed to them. And uh, with that Five of Wands, it, it almost seems as though, well, we'll go further, but it almost seems as though you're dealing with somebody, uh, this person, who maybe has other suitors right they may have other suitors other people who are into them or want to get next to them and right now they're not making a decision on anybody nobody's cup of love is being accepted it could very well also be that they're just rebuffing you now how do you guys see each other specifically and again i, I want to say this person is made this four of cups is more to do with them right not not being willing to take anybody coming into them okay rather than it being specifically about you is where we go ahead and we look at how you guys see each other. Aries, your person sees you as a five of pentacles, so you see them as a seven of swords. This is interesting. They see that, you, they kind of see you as somebody who might be struggling financially, uh, you know, this week. And, and certainly this is a seven day outlook, right? But this week they're feeling kind of like, mm-mm. They see, they see you as somebody who's struggling, as somebody who's trying to really build themselves back up from a major loss. Uh, someone who's lost the power of struggle and now has to pay the price for it. Um, and it could very well be that that is indeed what you're going through, but this is really what they're focusing on when they see you this seven next, the next seven days. The energy that it brings up in them. Um, I wonder if it's one a little bit of pity even, right? They may be feeling a little bit sorry for you because you've had a, you know, a bad break. But this is interesting. You see them as a seven of swords, which is treacherous. Somebody who's kind of a thief in the night, who's not being very honest, who's not putting very much effort in, right? Um, 
So you're kind of butthurt, I think, this week by this person. You know what I mean? I feel like they're not giving you what you want, and you feel like they're kind of being a little bit, right, a little bit underhanded here, a little bit sneaky, um, especially if they're not accepting a cup of love from you, that you may be feeling like they're playing around, right? And for them, they're not... They're kind of like, well, Aries seems to be doing not so great this week financially. I'm not sure if I want to, right? So you may be dealing with somebody who is about money. Because you can see you're feeling them pulling away. You're feeling them being a little bit underhanded now. They're not giving you anything for cups. They're not coming into you. They're not allowing you to come into them. What do you both desire in this situation? Um, they want to get out from underneath a rough situation. Nine of Wands. So... They're trying to come out of their own hang-ups and burdens, burdens and uh, restrictions, right? And, it, and again, it feels like you might be dealing with somebody who's looking for an avenue out, Aries, right? They're looking for an avenue out, and if you're not that avenue financially, they may not be willing, right? Because they're really caught up with their own thing. Nine of Wands, to, to have this in the position of desire in this relationship. Nine is the, is the feeling of wanting to just get over that final hurdle. And it feels to me like in this relationship, this is what they're looking to you for, but they don't see that you can do it with the five of pentacles. They see that you're struggling, or at least they believe that you're struggling, whether it's true or not. You desire a hanged man, so you're starting to get bored. You want inspiration to come in, right? You're starting to be like, look, this is for the birds. This could be somebody, Aries, who comes back to you often with problems, um, they may come back to you whenever they're doing badly and then, you know, wanting you to sort of help them out. And if you're not doing great, they're kind of like, eh, you know. And you're like, hey, hanged man, you're starting to feel like you've, you've lost inspiration here. You're starting to feel like this is routine. You might even feel like you're stuck in this relationship. You really just want out of, out of this, this cycle, I want to say. Um... What needs to happen? The Magician and Nine of Cups. Yeah, you need to get on with it, right? You are perfectly talented and capable of achieving what you need to achieve. Whatever this person is seeing in you, I don't think it's actually reflective of what you're truly going through. I think it's just the type of person that you're dealing with. They may not ever be satisfied. Um, and for you, it's kind of like you need to really just get on with things to show the world the, ma the magician that you are in as much as you know how to get through life. You know how, you know, people may, this person may judge you and say, oh, what, your Aries, this Aries is not doing so well right now. But you, in fact, are doing very well. You are, in fact, uh, handling all your business very, very well, right? And it could just be that they're not on your level to see it. Nine of Cups is for them. What needs to happen for them? They need to learn to be happy with what they have. You're dealing with somebody, certainly with somebody who um, always wants more, perhaps, Right? Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups. I mean, Nine of Cups is that energy of, like, being really happy with the relationship. It's a card for happiness. Being really happy with the relationships that you already have and not really wanting or needing anything deeper or more. Right? Um, and also being satisfied, self-satisfied in your own skin, right? So your person really needs to find this within themselves rather than looking to you, I think. Um... Because the energy here has become one that's a little bit needy. You know, I feel like they may play games with you. One minute they want you, the next minute they don't want you. Four of Cups, you know, here you are competing for their attention. They may be dating other people, trying to make you jealous. It, it just feels like somebody plays a lot of games, Aries. And I want to say that was the feeling last week for your reading, too. Dealing with somebody who comes back and you're kind of over it, right? Let's, let's get some clarity here for this reading. They've been treacherous, you know, and over the next seven days, they're going to do stuff that makes you be like, oh, really? This is what you're up to again? <clears throat> and that's where the hag man and the magician comes in for you, because as soon as you realize that <clears throat> this entire a, a relationship or connection is uninspiring and has really just kept you stuck, you're going to, you know, kind of come out into your magician and um, really flourish and move on, I think. Seems like a very sort of sloppy, toxic relationship. Uh, Six of Cups, Temperance, yep, the Sun, right, all will be revealed to Hierophant. Okay, so it could be somebody you've known for a long time, 
Six of Cups indicates that you might have known this person for a while. You may have been friends with them. You may have had an on and off, on again, off again relationship. And everything was really great and affectionate at one point. But now you're having to exercise a lot of temperance, right? Uh, it feels to me temperance is coming in to remind you to not allow them to turn you off, you know, set, move you off your square, your focus. And the sun is coming in and the desire. So there's a lot of awakening coming in the next seven days. Not awakening. I want to say sort of an unmasking, right? A clearing. Uh, a clarity comes in. You know, the sun brings clarity. It brings light to situations. It brings clarity. And there's an understanding that's going to come in for you, I think, Aries. And for both of you, probably, that this, uh, this relationship... This connection, the way it is now, is not is not working. It's not going to be necessarily conducive for the both of you. There's just too much like weird feelings here, right? Too much manipulation and wanting, wanting things that you can't really have. And more than anything, this person just wanting you to sort of like, I want to say, be their savior almost in a way. I feel a sense of selfishness here. They're happy when they're happy only, you know, nine of cups. Uh, but they need to really realize that they've got a good thing here and there needs to be some effort put in. The hero fact comes out to remind you, I believe that this relationship may be non-traditional um, and it could be something about it that is, uh, because of that, that is allowing it to sort of become so rocky, you know, on again, off again. Um, hero fact comes in to remind you of order and, and sort of... Um, Sticking to your own moral compass, your set of cultural ethics and principles and all of that. And if this is this relationship is outside of all of that, then you need to come back to that, right? To get to get out of it in a healthy way, right? Come back to what uh, you know is your foundation for a strong a strong relationship. The effect can indicate sort of cultural norms that we're brought up with, right? Ideas we have about ourselves and the way we fit into the world, but specifically, certainly with regard to how we see ourselves fit into our cultural background, how we see ourselves when we are together with someone, do we believe in marriage, traditional marriage, non-traditional marriage, whatever it is for you and that is accepted for you, the hero fact reminds you to go back to that grounding, that spiritual grounding. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it at that. This is a tough one. Again, I want to say this is, is a... It feels like this is a relationship that's really been on again, off again for quite some time. And it's going to be rocky over the next seven days, and some things are definitely going to be revealed about uh, what it is you two truly want out of this, right? All right, guys. I hope it gave you some clarity. I'm going to keep it short for the Twin Flame readings. Today's Monday. Monday, I always upload my fireside readings, Twin Flame or love readings. If you want to check out any of your other readings, please uh, go to the video that's linked. You, there'll probably be another Aries video linked uh, on the screen right now or in the description. But for right now, Aries, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you at your next reading. Bye-bye.